Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you what a lot of people have been waiting for. How to install the Windows Media Center on your Windows 10 PC. Now a lot of people didn't upgrade to Windows 10 because they were losing the Media Center which is, you know, has a following. There's a lot of people that enjoy it and I actually find that it's a nice uh, add-on and you know it's sad that Microsoft decided that it didn't want to push it on to other operating systems. So how do you have Windows Media Center to your Windows 10 PC? First of all, I'll post the link. You'll have to download through this link. And I need to warn you guys and girls that want to download this. You know, this is mysterious. And, you know, you'll have commands that will change your registry. I want to warn you. You know, this is a risk-taking procedure. Uh, I've done it to make sure that it works and to show you that it actually does work and you know I'm the risk taker to make sure that you guys don't do something uh, and you know end up with bad software it seems to be safe seems to be correct even though we're not fully understanding of what's it doing in the registry actually so here goes you will go to this link that I post in the description below the video. Make sure you don't click on the red or gray button here. Click download through your browser. Very important. You have to click there and you'll download this Windows Media Center zip file, 54 megabytes. So click download through your browser. That's very important. That's where you do it. Once you've downloaded, you will extract the files on your computer. Now, I'm not showing you how to do that because I guess that if you are someone that uses the Media Center, you know how to uh, extract files from a zipped uh, file. I hope so. Or else I think you're, you shouldn't just install Media Center at all. Once you've done that, you'll have the folder here. You'll go inside and you've got the full instruction in the readme.txt here. I'll show you visually. You'll right click on the first one, test rights.command. Right click here, run as administrator, click yes. Now two things can happen. You'll have either this Windows with the C colon slash Windows, that's good, or you'll have a flashing window and nothing's happening. If you have a flashing window and nothing's happening, don't panic, just restart your computer. Once you're back in Windows 10, run this command again and you will have this C colon slash Windows. I did it the first time it flashed, nothing happened. I restarted, I came back here, I did it again and here I am at C colon slash Windows. Once you see this with a little blinking cursor, what you'll do is right click on the second one and right, run as administrator once again. So the second one is installer command. You'll see a ton of installing packages in that window. When it's over, it's going to ask you to press any key. If that happens and you press any key and the window closes, you're right, you're fine. Windows Media Center has been installed. Restart your computer. And once you've restarted the computer, you'll be able to go into the search of Cortana and do Media Center and you'll see Media Center desktop app you'll be able to um, you know pin to start pin to taskbar and so on uh, the location of the file is in programs Windows accessories so it's in the start menu in programs and uh, Windows accessories so if you go into all apps if we go down to programs P for programs uh, Windows Accessories, it's somewhere, Windows, 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 Windows Accessories, it's here. If you click here, you'll see Media Center and it says New and it's available. So once you click, you should have a Media Center that starts like this. Works fantastically well. I haven't tried it a lot, I haven't tried music videos or stuff with it yet. But at least it seems to work. So let's hope that it does work as intended. It's really cool to see this and you'll have the Windows Media Center and Windows 10. So if you're waiting for a way to get the Media Center, here it is. 
Um, the download link is in the description below the video. Once again, I want to warn you, this is a risk taking adventure for Windows. So it's up to you to do it and um, hopefully works well and you'll have fun with your Windows Media Center in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Um, by subscribing, you know, uh, of course, when new videos. And you know what? Uh, we have, have tons of videos like this and helping you doing uh, do pretty much everything in Windows 10. Um, give us thumbs up. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. Hopefully, you enjoy our videos and we'll come back. If you have suggestions, comments, problems, share them with us. We'll try to help you if we can. Thank you for watching and have fun with your media center.